Comrades, we want to make sure that BRICS is strengthened and BRICS is an alternative to Europe and America. We are with President Putin and we want to say to President Putin, it is not us South Africans who refused you from coming into the country. It is Ramaphosa, the coward Ramaphosa, who could not guarantee that we will not arrest Putin. We are Putin and Putin is us and we will never support imperialism against the President Putin. America is threatening us with African Growth and Opportunity Act that if we don't arrest Putin, they are going to take away Agoa. They can take away Agoa and leave us with our sovereignty and leave us with our foreign policy. We must have the capacity to take a decision of our own. We call on the President of the People's Republic of China, India and Brazil not to come to BRICS summit in solidarity with President Putin. They must say, you touch one of us, you touch all of us. We must refuse to be part of the Commonwealth. There is nothing common about the Commonwealth except that we are all colonized by Britain. As a revolutionary party, that is going to take over South Africa next year. We are going to leave the Commonwealth. We will not be dictated by IMF. We will not be dictated by the World Bank. We will be dictated to by the people of South Africa. We want to say to Commandant Fidel Castro that we stand with the Cubans and they remain an anchor of our struggle for socialism across the world. We need peace and to silence the guns in Mali, in Burkina Faso, in, in Sudan. We need to openly, as a glorious movement, say that another African must never enjoy seeing a blood of another African. What is happening in Eastern DRC is highly unacceptable, where more than 12,000 people are killed and the world is not saying anything we need peace in the Eastern DRC. We don't have to fight over expanding territories into Mozambique, into Central African Republic, into Congo Brazzaville, into Zambia, including infiltrating Benin, because Africa is one. Why do you want to extend your territory as a country? For what? Because we want one Africa with one currency, with one military, with one judiciary, with one president of the United Republic of Africa. We need Africa to be bigger in order to fight all of these people. African on African violence must stop and must stop now. Dictators who are scared of democracy Please stop your nonsense now. Stop killing fellow Africans. South Africa and Africa, let's resolve everything peacefully. We want to make a call in Kenya, especially to Comrade Raila Odinga. Stop doing what you are doing. Do not disrupt Kenya. We need peace in Kenya. The President William Ruto was democratically elected in Kenya. I will not allow you to use the people of Kenya to destabilize the peace of Kenya. We say to President Mnangagwa, stop disrupting the peace of Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe is going to election. Allow the Zimbabweans to make their choice in a democratic manner without any form of intimidation. We want peace in Ethiopia. We want peace in the DRC. But Baba Ile Landani, Baba Regile Kua Landani, Baba Regile Kamakua, Baba Go Destroy EFF. That was the first imaginary scandal they did. We defeated that scandal of saying we are bought by London because every
everything we are doing has got nothing to do with London. It has got everything to do with Africa and with Africans because we exist for Africans. They wanted to cause the fight in the EFF. They never won. They will never win. Why? We want the land. We are not here for any other Mickey Mouse arrangement. We want the land. Bagazali Sufi took people to Orlando Stadium a day before yesterday, thinking that he can contest us. Kimushima Nyana Wamamina. Atimisilo. Utamaile. Atiaba Nabarina. Abaisa Orlando Stadium. Ayobafa Mapepe. Alumura Adisevi. Ubakama Tom Aba Nabarina. Aba Yumulaita. Aba Tadita Stadium. Aru Utoba Fastipen. It's not a stipend, it's a bribery so that you can vote for the ANC. We don't want a bribery, we want the land, we want jobs, and we want the mind, we want the now, and it must be quality jobs. When we take over this holiday next year, all those people who are hired by Panyaza, we are going to expel all of them because they were not properly hired. They are hired because they are members of the ANC. They are hired because they are campaigners of the ANC. Tell them your time is over. When you meet them in those oversized overalls, you must whisper in their ears. Pelile Baba, here's a EFF next year. Comrades, ask on Kimatat. Mutakasi Mo South Africa Kimatat. What the lady Bari they've made us fools. They gave us stage six and stage eight. We were living in darkness. The jobs were threatened. The electricity undermined the quality of life in South Africa. From there, from stage 8, they dropped us to stage 3. When they put us on stage 3, we behave like stage 3 is acceptable. That's mediocrity. I will never get tired. No one can make me tired. I march forward to the victory of our people. The revolution in South Africa is guaranteed that under the EFF, this country will be the better. Stand up, South Africa. Make sure that South Africa, you are counted with me. Run, South Africa. Stand and make sure that our people understand that they need to be counted. You must be counted. You must be part of history. You must make sure that you are one of the people who are going to deliver economic freedom in our lifetime. Freedom in our lifetime. Amanda!